Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix OBS Studio recording black screen. So let's get started. So firstly, how does OBS work? Well, your graphics processor outputs information to be displayed onto your monitor or your screen. And OBS just intercepts that data and copies it and encodes it in a video. So the problem is that sometimes you record from the wrong graphics chip. This is mostly on laptops where they both do work because you use the Intel graphics processor, your integrated one, when you're in Windows, like here, and the dedicated one when you're in full screen applications, like games. So recording from the wrong graphics chip can actually lead to this black screen because that graphics chip doesn't output anything. Now this can happen to PCs as well, but the graphics chip doesn't dynamically get reassigned and they don't, they don't both work, just the integrated one or the dedicated one. So if you just have your monitor plugged into the motherboard, you're using the integrated one and that can actually lead to the problem and I recommend you put your monitor in your dedicated one. If you don't want to do this, just select the integrated graphics chip when we are doing this. Otherwise, if you already have it in your dedicated, just select the dedicated and everything should be fine. Other than that, uh, on laptops, since it's dynamically reassigning uh, and they are both working, you might have the question, well, what, which one do I put? Well, if you want to record Windows like this and games in Windowed and everything in Windows, just select the integrated one if you record that the most. If you record the games the most in full screen, I recommend you get the dedicated. But I'm going to show you also how to do a one-time run with the other graphics chip. So the first step is to open up NVIDIA Control Panel. You can go right here and go and right click, or you can right click on your desktop, or you can right click the program, run with the graphics processor, and change default. So these will all launch the NVIDIA Control Panel. Now, once the NVIDIA Control Panel launches, you want to go to Manage 3D Settings. I'll have to wait a bit. Okay, and go to Manage 3D Settings, and by default, it's on Global. So you want to go to Program Settings, select OBS 64.exe, and by default, is it, it's on Use Global Settings, Auto Select. So select the graphics chip as I told you before. Okay, if you want gaming, just select this one. If you want to, uh, to record full screen games and apps, if you want to record windows and things that are windowed, go to integrate graphics. Okay, and click apply. Okay, then I'm going to show you how to actually do a one time run of OBS with the other graphics chip. So you don't have to actually set it every single time in, from the NVIDIA control panel. So now if I launch OBS, you can see that now I have a capture, not a black screen. I'm recording from an integrated graphics chip, so because because I'm in Windows. Now, if I want to record a game or a full screen app, and I don't want to go into the NVIDIA control panel and change it, there is a simple workaround. So if you right click OBS, click on run with the graphics processor and click high performance NVIDIA GPU. You can see that now I am recording from the, I'm getting data from the NVIDIA graphics processing unit and I have a blank screen because I don't have any full screen applications that actually use the NVIDIA chip to render. So this also works vice versa. So if I selected the NVIDIA chip because I mostly record games and I want to run with the integrated so I can record the display right now in Windows in windowed mode you can just right click wrong graphics processor and the integrated graphics and you can see you'll get a capture so yeah guys thank you for watching if you like it give it a thumbs up if you want to see more click the subscribe button and please don't forget to share this video
So, see you next time on How Do I Teach.